everyone. Today I have a review of the February Lip Monthly and an unboxing of the March Lip Monthly. So I believe that currently I am paying $10 a month for Lip Monthly because I believe that was the price a little while back. And I just checked the website and it looks like they changed the price to $12.95, which in my opinion is still an excellent deal for the subscription service. Every month you get four full-size lipstick products and one non-lipstick product. Sometimes that's a full-size, sometimes that's a sample, and sometimes it's a lipstick product that also can be like a cheek product, for example. I'm going to start off this video by reviewing the previous month's Lip Monthly, and I've got all my notes right here on this little piece of paper, so let's just get started. First product was the Prim Botanicals Lip and Cheek Glow and this is supposed to be a hydrating lip and cheek balm. Now, I didn't use this on my cheeks at all because I really do not like this type of cheek product. It's kind of like a, it says it's a balm and it feels like a balm. It's very kind of slippery and sticky at the same time and so it's just, it's not something that I want to use on my cheeks. But I did test it out on my lips. First of all, it smells like kids makeup. Like it has that very sweet plasticky scent. It's gross. I don't I didn't like smelling it on my lips and it does kind of linger a little bit, so that's not fun. I also don't really like how this applies. You have to use either like your fingers or a lip brush and a lip brush just takes too much time, especially since it's a balm and it's not very pigmented. It's actually pretty sheer. See, they're 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 balms. They're like tinted balms and they show up even less on my lips. They're really just not my favorite. So since you do have to apply it with your fingers, it's it's really kind of messy and you always have to wipe off your hands every time you put it on. And you do have to put it on a lot because the lasting power is only about two hours. You know, around what a normal lip gloss or chapstick would be. It fades off, you know, pretty evenly. It just, there's not a whole lot to begin with. So there's not a whole lot to worry about when it is fading off. So I think the main thing that I use this for was on either very minimal makeup days like just mascara or no makeup days at all and I would just put it on a little bit to add some color to my lips. The next product was this Harvey Prince Organics Sincerely Body Cream and I did not like this at all. The scent was just really bad to me. Like I don't love Harvey Prince scented things but this one didn't even smell like most Harvey Prince scents. Like I've had their perfume and stuff before and it was just just really fakey, plasticky smell. I didn't like it at all. It was just, it wasn't good. And the moisturizing power was only average. Like if this was an amazingly moisturizing lotion, then maybe I would use it more. Like if it really helped my hands, because I have pretty dry hands in the winter time, if it really moisturized them, I would keep it. But my hands were still cracked and really dry and I had to switch back to my normal really moisturizing lotion because I couldn't use that one anymore. It just wasn't doing anything. Then we had this Expert Last Lip Color by NYC and this is the color Snow Cone. And it's a, you know, decently pretty color. It's really light pink, which is automatically not necessarily my favorite color. And it's super metallic -y. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to tell quite how metallic -y this is. It's reflective and shimmery, and that's just not necessarily my style. I prefer creams or mattes, so I, I don't love it. Also, it does smell like cherries, which is kind of interesting. Not like real cherries, but like, you know, fake cherry scented. It's not like gross plasticky like the last two things, but it does smell like fake cherries. But yeah, like the color, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. It was just a little bit lighter than what I normally reach for and I just don't see myself using it very often so I don't think I'm going to keep it. It's probably going to get passed on to somebody else. The wear time for this one is also about two hours just like the other lip product and it kind of feels like a chapstick. It's pretty moisturizing and it rubs off like a chapstick does. It just doesn't last very long and it goes on. It feels kind of balmy and it's not supposed to be a balm. And it's, you know, it's fairly pigmented. It's not like a matte where it's like super pigmented or anything, but there's color there. It felt moisturizing. So while I didn't necessarily like this specific color or the fact that it was really metallic-y, I would look into other lipsticks by NYC, the Expert Last lipstick, because it was a nice lipstick. It was just really the color that kind of threw me off and the fact that it's metallic-y. And the last thing in this box was probably my favorite, and this is the Seraphine Botanicals 
vegan berry tint and this is in the color cherry cream which actually makes sense I haven't looked at the name of the color and I just smelled it and it smells like cherries like more than the last lipstick this one smells like real cherries this one's really pretty bam yeah it's it's super pigmented it's supposed to be a lip tint but it's like super pigmented and I wore it and it's it's more like a liquid lipstick and the wear time is similar to a liquid lipstick it's not quite as good it doesn't last quite as long and if you eat or whatever with it on it does go away a little bit faster but then it kind of stains your lips a little bit but not in a bad way it's a really nice product I'm gonna say that and it smells good I really like the color the applicator is nice it's you know that just doe foot applicator it's not a weird like brush you don't have to like dip your finger in it's it's a good product it also, it's pretty liquidy, kind of like the ColourPop liquid lipsticks in a way, where, you know, some liquid lipsticks, they're more moussey, and this is more liquidy. But it's not like a regular, like, lip tint or lip stain, where it kind of just, it's so liquidy that it doesn't really stay on your lips, it just kind of soaks in and then there's no color. I've had a lot of problems with lip stains doing that, and this doesn't. This one is actually really nice, and it sits on top of your lips. It's just really nice. Good product, and I recommend it. Now, was that bag worth the $10 or the $12.95, which I think is what it costs now? Not necessarily. This lip tint retails for $18, so technically it is, you know, covering the cost of the bag, but I wouldn't necessarily go buy this at the store if I had just seen it. I do really like trying new products though, and the fact that I was able to at only, you know, $10 was worth it to me because now I know, hey, I like this formula, hey, I don't like this formula. And so I can, you know, go back and look for more colors or steer clear of it. And I do really like this. So I'm going to call it, you know, technically a win, although I would not have spent $10 on all the products in there. Okay, now let's get into the March one. I'm really excited for this. Hopefully I didn't just ruin my nails. I just painted my nails for St. Patty's Day because that's my birthday. The first product in here is Camila Cosmetics and it's a lip gloss. I have not heard of that brand. Have you guys heard of that brand? Camila Cosmetics. $14. No, yeah, $14. Oh, there's two Camila, two Camila products in here. This is the lip gloss. In 44, I think is the color. Whoa, interesting. That's like magenta. Smell not bad. Oh, it's okay. okay. It's not bad. It doesn't seem too sticky. It seems, you know, pretty soft and not sticky, <laughs> I guess is what I'm going for. That's not bad. Okay, I'm actually kind of excited to try that one. I really have been trying to get more into lip glosses because they can really, you know, change a lipstick. I'm not going to put it over this one because that's, that's not going to work out, but I'm excited to try it. It looks you know, not too bad. Okay, and here's the lipstick. Comes in this nice bullet. Looks like the MAC lipsticks, except for it says Camila Cosmetics. And I think it's the same color. That's actually a really smart idea, giving a lipstick and a lip gloss that are the same color. Kind of like how ColourPop does the lipsticks and lip pencils that are the same color. It's not exactly the same. The lip gloss is a little bit, mm, I want to say a little bit more mauve than the lipstick because it's a little bit more berry, but I actually really like those colors. And I'm excited to try these out together, like paired together. This one looks like a cream formula. Not quite matte, but it's cream. Also $14, by the way. And also, don't forget to stick around next month when I will be reviewing all four of the products that are in here. This is Eco Lips Eco Tints Sugar Plum. Wow, that is a dark color. Nope, it's not dark at all. It's like a chapstick. Like hardly any sheer any shade to it at all like that's after like six passes like one it's like you can't even hardly see it oh it's minty I think I just got some on my nose and that lip balm is $4.49 last product in here this is a cargo product that's cool they're throwing some name brand items up in here and this retails for $10 oh it's like a bronzer blush duo cute what's the shade Catalina and medium. Cool. All right. Thanks. They're really soft. Cargo's got some nice products. The blush and the bronzer. That blush actually looks like definitely something I will wear. It's light and I'm fair, so that's nice. And the bronzer, it doesn't look bad. Like it's, it's, you know, pretty glowy and golden and I don't necessarily wear a lot of bronzer, but the color's pretty and it's not like too shimmery, just a little bit shimmery. So again, 
stick around and I'll test it out for you guys. Okay, so that's all the products for this Lip Monthly unbagging. That is going to be it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to watch either of my last two videos, go ahead and click either of the boxes next to me. If you want to hit subscribe, that would be awesome, and also share it with all your friends. I would love to get the word out. I am going to be doing some kind of giveaway once we hit 500 subscribers. It might take a little while, but I thought I would throw that out there now just so you guys know about it. Also, if you want to go ahead and give it a thumbs up, I would love that. And leave some comments down in the comment section below letting me know what you thought and what you would like to see next. Until next time, guys, I will see you very soon. Bye. Things. I knew exactly who Wonder Woman was like the second she was on screen. Oh yeah, for sure. So you can go see more details about that and see other previous BoxyCharm videos from the past.